सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोन टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ स्मोक सिमुलेशन इन ब्लैंडर एंड विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ दीज काइंड ऑफ स्मोक सिमुलेशन अंडर टू मिनट विद द हेल्प ऑफ द ब्लैंडर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट टूटोरियल सो फर्स्ट ऑल आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू ओपन माई न्यू प्रोजेक्ट फाइल so all right guys here you can see we have a new project file and right now on my screen i have a one cube and i'm just going to use this cube as a smoke simulation so what do you have to do by the way you have to just select your cube first of all then you have to just go to your object and you have to just go to your quick effect section and here you will able to see option it's called basically a quick smoke option so when you uh, click on this quick smoke you will able to see that kind of effect is happening here okay and first of all i'm just going to scale this domain by the way because we need a more bigger simulation here and i'm just going to little up this uh, domain as well yeah something like that and after doing the scale make sure you apply the scale first of all okay and after applying the scale i'm just going to play the animation first of all so right now you can able to see that kind of uh, animation happening here and which is look fine but we need to do some setting here and we'll get a good simulation effect here as well okay so what we have to do by the way so first of all what i'm going to do i'm just going to select my domain and then i'm just going to my physics settings and here i'm just going to change the first setting is called basically resolution division we just change it as a 1 to 8 so you will able to see more thicker and good resolution smoke here and one more thing i just want to change by the way i will, I will also change this adaptive domain as well so now what will happen exactly our domain will uh, spread according to our simulation by the way okay and it will help to increase your simulation speed as well okay but you can also keep this as a by default okay it will work nicely for you and you can also enable the your noise option as well so when you enable your noise option so you will see little noise into your simulation and uh, you will get a more thicker and more uh, dense smoke here as well okay and apart from that you don't need to change anything you have to just bake your simulation once so i'm just going to change this type as a uh, all so you will able to see a bake option here so what i'm going to do by the way i'm just going to click this bake and i will wait it after complete the bake i will show you how it's look like basically so let's do it So all that guys here you can see our bake is complete and when i'm just going to little zoom and i'm just going to play the animations so now here you can see So now here you can see guys we have a very cool and thicker smoke here and which is look nice by the way so that's how you can create a that kind of smoke effect using the blender so after that you can use this effect anywhere and that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you guys so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button and the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys